Now this is a Don Fugato wine. This is Edna Bianco called Sul Volcano. Stay tuned, I'll tell you about the 2018 vintage wine of excellence. Stay tuned. gorgeous wine here uh, excited to get this wine and this is um, you know I think it's such a really cool imagery I love Don Forgot the labels because they are truly you know the expressive experience of Sicilia so here's a label itself the image of this woman and she is a volcano she is the you can see the volcano coming down from the mountain uh, cone and then you see her hair which is the steam that is erupting from the um, volcano itself it's such an amazing experience and I've been put fun on the ground. It's so cool. You must visit when you go to Italy and when you go to Italia, you should visit Sicilia. And so you see this really evocative, beautiful artwork. All the artwork from Dona Fogata is really evocative, very Siciliani. So when we get out in the world again, Sicilia is really worth thinking about. It's a fantastic place to visit. Here's a back label for you to look at here. Now this is 100% Caricante. So this is coming from the northern portion of Etna. So the wine grapes are being sourced between the villages of Randazzo as well as Castiglione di Sicilia. $30 suggested retail price point, sophisticated wine. And uh, so let me tell you first before I give notes on the wine itself, the vinification of this wine is fermented in stainless steel at a temperature between 14 and 16 degrees centigrade, aging partly in tanks and partly in French oak, second and third passage barrique for 10 months and then at least nine months in the bottle before release. So, uh, you know, let me tell you about this wine because I think it's, you know, what I love about Caricante is it's not going to be any other variety than what it is. And I know that seems obvious. So some varieties can taste very similar or have some evocations of other varieties, which is of course natural and to be expected, but there's a point of difference in this wine. So when you're tasting this wine, if you were just served a glass, you may not realize that this is Caricante. So this is not gonna be Chardonnay, uh, Pinot Bianco, Pinot Grigio. It's going to be its own variety. It is its own variety. And with that comes some elegance and grace to this wine. And so here we go first. The scent characterization is a haunting note and uh, definitely serve this in not a white wine glass because they're too small. Serve this in a burgundy glass. It'll be our human physiology is really dependent on the scent characterization to fully appreciate the palate of this wine. So here we go first. The nose on this wine is hibiscus. So I love that uh, characterization as well as Sicilian lemons, honeycomb, baking spices, and uh, moistened minerals. And next the palate characterization. So the weight and texture on this wine is completely elegant. It's going to, what I think is nice about wine is that you don't really drink it as quickly as you might another alcoholic beverage. And I think that's the wonderful thing about wine. The texture on this, the weight on this is that you taste a little bit at a time, enjoying with food, right? Or enjoying on its own. So if you're gonna serve this with food, which I highly recommend, definitely uh, take a sip before you taste any food with it. You really wanna get the characterization and uh, get that feel for Caricante. So what I very much enjoy on the palate of this wine is uh, luxuriant texture, great uh, weight to this wine, as well as beautiful acidity to this wine. In addition to that, I'm getting notes of quince, apple notes, as well as yellow citrus and oyster shell. Oyster shell representing that uh, mineral characterization, as well as a, a bit of a salinity notation as well. So it's a really nicely balanced wine very sophisticated, elegant, and the nuanced characterization is something that is uh, very persistent and uh, yet just so gentle to the experience of uh, your palate. And so this is a 94.1 out of 100 points. More information on the producer will be listed down below. Questions and comments can be listed there. You should be able to find this wine throughout the United States. You could also find this on several uh, online retailers in the United States and a really beautiful, gorgeous wine. If you've never had an Edna Bianco wine, this is the year to try one. So you'll find more information on the producer down below, questions and comments, you can list there. That's where the like button is, so please hit that button and uh, stay connected. So between videos, you'll find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress, where I am active. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Salute.